everybody. So we're going to be working on Chuck Pinson's base for reflection. I've got a canvas square marked off here and I got my little washi, may I, washi tapes over my parchment paper square right here to cover it up. So I'm going to try to make it an even place right here, an even row. There we go. All right. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do a color at a time. So I said that, you know, different people do their diamond paintings different ways. So that's what we're going to do with this one. We're going to try it one color at a time. So the first color looks like I'm going to work on is the letter P. So the letter P is box number nine. So let me get that one open. Number nine, which is color... 318. So let me get some poured out here. Get me a lot. Put my tray closure in there so they won't go flying everywhere. Okay, so we said P. Let me get my pen. Pen's going places. It hides. It hides. Okay. Here's my pen. So we said P is the color. So let me see where I want to start here. I guess I'll start it at the top. So I'll put it right there where I can see it. And we're going to start with P. So today is Tuesday, July 19th. Worked from home today. I was supposed to have a dental appointment, but it got canceled. So I had to push it back out. I almost um, got a little ways here in, in August, but that's okay. The uh, temporary crown seems to be holding well, so I'm all right with that. So I won't go until then. And have a little time I have to make up, but I'll do short lunches to do that. So I'm sure everybody has um, seen the little blurb video that I put on Facebook showing and I was actually working on this picture when I showed the little blurb of what it is that I do so hopefully you'll I'm going to try to do a, a, a um, part of it on Facebook and far, part of it on my YouTube channel I'm trying to run my YouTube channel but I figured you know it got such great reception that I was like well I'll put it on uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook again and see what happens. So I'll be doing that. It takes a lot of work, uh, you know, to the, do the channel and everything, but I figured that's what I could do. So I'm putting down all the P's here. So that's what we're going to do, working this one color at a time. Um, I'm going to try to do it for the whole section, so not just this section. But further than, I don't think there looks like there's some down there, but that's what I figured I would show you. Like I said, I don't normally do it. Um, I do for like working in a square in the area, but I don't do it like for like this whole section that I got peeled away here. So we're going to try it, see what, see if we like it. And uh, that way I'll just have, well, just one video, one color and see what happens with it. I got my timer set for 30 minutes, so whatever we get done 30 minutes, then that will be a video. I'm, I'm again trying to make sure that I do short tur videos, not as long. They take longer to upload if they're long videos. So that's what I'm going to try to do with y'all is just do the 30 minutes, 30 minutes little videos and we'll see what happens. So they're calling for thunderstorms right now. Uh, it got a little dark, it's a little dark back there uh, towards Spartanburg. So we'll see what happens. I've got my mic on. So if there is any thunder, you'll only hear it hopefully through the mic and not through the whole camera. Okay, I'm still using my Diamond Art Club tray. I like using this. I like the clear color. Um, it's pretty easy to see uh, the beads 
so that looks good let's see here I know that it's hot it's been hot here and it's gonna get hotter this week I know that the people in the UK are suffering right now because it's hot over there temperatures they're not used to temperatures like that we are used to but we also have air conditioner you know there they don't have it's not that they don't have air conditioners they do but it's not um, needed for them because they don't get that hot I mean, they could, they're used to, you know, having their windows open and getting their air in that way, but you can't do that in 100 and something degree weather. So it's like 100, and, I think my friend today, uh, where he lives, he got to 101, which is, you know, brutally hot for a place that, you know, your vehicle, which you drive to work, you know, it doesn't have air conditioner in it. Even at three o'clock in the morning, that's still hot. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's too much. So they're dealing with that craziness. We're just gonna have our nice hot, hot weather. But that's typical for us. We're coming out of July, getting ready to go into August. So that's, that, that's another thing. I mean, we're at July. I mean, July 19th is today. You won't have too much longer and kids will be back in school again. Just feels like they just got out. Heck, feels like you know, we just came into the new year, but time, I tell you what, it's the, it's the months fly by. And I guess when you have a routine, I mean, day in, day out, and that's what you do, that's, that's what happens. You gotta break time up. I'm just going to get these in some kind of order here so I can see them. And then put them down here. So we'll see what we can get done here with these peas. And then get them. I like working in this. This is the mountains. So they're so pretty. I mean... And I tell y'all that like all the time. Oh, the Diamond Car Art Club ones are just so fabulous because the colors are just so fantastic. And just for me, a picture, video, nothing does it justice unless you see it in person. I mean, they're just, just so, so amazing. Just, just crazy amazing. So tomorrow I'll be working from home, which is good. Um, the kitchen has a floor now. Uh, it was an area in front of under our cabinets that was uh, had to be replaced. Countertops are coming in tomorrow, so I will have pictures uh, hopefully of that tomorrow. So I'll give you a before and after, hopefully, little shot in the video, um, depending on when this uploads. If I can get one in tomorrow, I'll be able to. And if not, it'll, yeah, you'll get to see it eventually. So I'm happy about that. I actually have a floor I can stand on and not worry about falling through. And then the insurance company's paying a little bit on that, but you know, better than nothing, I guess is what you should say. At least they're paying something. So, you know, have that going on. Know that everybody saw my weekend picture, so I did get the custom picture to the lady that had to put her order in for it. And I got a lot of good responses back with that, so I know she's going to enjoy it. And we, her and I talked a little bit about it, you know, um, she has two daughters and she wanted them to have their own uh, picture of her son. Uh, their brother so we kind of talked about you know when I was looking his uh, story up because I didn't know his story um, there was a really good picture of him um, standing in his football uniform on the football field and I told her you know that's that would be a really great picture because when I saw that you know that's a good picture right there I said I'd like to do that picture and she's um, starting up a foundation in his name so I'll just give you a little blurb um, about his story, his name's um, Nick um, Dixon, 
and uh, he played for Spartan High, played football for Spartan High, and then uh, went in, had to have ACL surgery, and um, it's supposed to be you know, normal routine surgery, it's ACL, but he had an allergic reaction uh, to the anesthesia, and it put, you know, put his, bo his body in uh, cardiac arrest. I'm sure there's other details that I don't know. I'm just going based on when you're, what was in the article. Um, and he passed away, just uh, 18 years old. So he had already signed. He was, he was, uh, had already signed um, the college that he was going to go to the day before, but hadn't really said anything about it. And that information, of course, came out in the article. But just a young man who's, I'm sure, had a, you know, bright, you know, football career future in front of him, but you know his. You know, life was just taken by something that, you know, is sen senseless to me is what I say, is to a surgery that shouldn't have had the reactions that he, you know, that he had. But, you know, it's just, it, it's just sad. That's all I can say. So, um, she, um, she's starting a foundation in his name to, um, help parents, um, with um, the cost of having to pay for your child um, that you know has you know passed away, um, funeral cost, um, you know anything, everything that's involved with that when you don't have insurance um, taken out on your child. So I would just go ahead and preface this and say this: I don't have children, so you know I don't understand that grief, but I will say, for anybody that you know, that has kids, you may want to go ahead and look into getting life insurance policies for your kids, because right now, just with the way the world is, you just don't know what's going to happen, so you want to be able to, you know, pay for things that you need to pay for if something, you know, happens to your kids, so just putting that out there, so anyway. I got um, teared up when I saw her because I knew that when she saw the picture, she'd, you know, she would cry. She'd tear up, and I teared up with her. I mean, I, and I told her it was a, it was an honor and a pleasure, and a privilege working on that picture for her. So I have some other what they call themselves angel moms um, that have, you know, deceased children that they would like uh, pictures of, which you know I don't mind. I mean, to me, it's just a piece of artwork that I can provide for somebody to enjoy the enjoy the lives of their children. So, but I haven't um, haven't gotten anything on that yet. And then, like I said, she wanted a couple more done. So we'll probably talk about that in the, in the near future about what picture she wants done. So that's I felt like I was at the liberty to talk about it on the video with you now since the uh, picture has been given and uh, she's received it and and uh, like I said everybody wanted to know what it what it was and that's why I did the video on YouTube <coughs> showing what diamond painting dummy painting is so that you know it's not really painting it's actually placing beads on a, a uh, square on a right or a section um, symbol that it corresponds to to create the colors. I call it uh, paint by number meets cross stitch because pretty much that's what it is. You're putting the bead on the canvas so that's the paint part and the number is the symbol that you know you have to put the the bead on because that's what where it matches and then cross stitch because it uses normally they uh, use the DMC uh, codes colors so that's the uh, cross stitch part plus it's a canvas and you're still creating the artwork. And then the uh, size, the size would be the same as working a um, 10, um, 10 count cloth or material. So not the normal counts you work on, like 14 I think is pretty much the generic normal, but it's a, just a little bit bigger what a 10 count would be. So it's actually 10 uh, 
diamonds per inch. So that is what that is. At least that's what I call it anyway. And then, you know, it's just for me, it's faster than cross stitch, but, but then the downside of it is the canvas is so much bigger, so. Which is why this one's big with the, uh, the picture that it is. But it's Chuck Pinson. Chuck Pinson for me is uh, a uh, good uh, replacement for Thomas Kincaid. Not saying that, you know, you can't get some still Tom's work, but this, you know, these landscapes and pictures that he does to me are just amazing. The colors are just so good. So that's why it's the Chuck Pinson one. I just happened to fall in love with his artwork, so that's why I have a few of his. And like I said, this one's a gift for someone. So I told him today, I saw him today, I said, yeah, I said, he said, you saw, he says, well, I like that you gave you a thumbs up on your video. I'm like, yeah, I said, and you saw, well, that's your picture, right? He goes, no, that's my picture. I said, yeah, that's the one I'm working on right now. So that one's yours. Oh, I have my picture videoed. I'm like, yeah, your picture definitely is on YouTube. So he's kind of excited about that. But yeah, like I said, to me, this is my stress reliever, so this is what I like working on. So we're just doing the checkerboard method right here because it's a, a good many peas, so. And I'm trying not to stick my hand on the canvas, much less my tray, because I've done that before and it'd be sticky. I'd be peeling that off. It's not fun peeling yourself off the canvas. And glue is glue, people. So, but I do like my new little um, cover sheets that I covered up with washi tape. They're cute and I like them. They're like the little carousel horses that I get to look at when I'm not working on the picture. So hopefully I'll be doing some more of those, get some more covered up different designs since I got a lot of washi to use. If you haven't seen that, you can look at the July subscription box that I got from Simply Gilded with my July's Birds of Paradise washi collection. So you'll be able to see that. All right, let's see what we got here. Oops. Been reading some, some more, trying to get, you know, my thousands of pages done. I finished the book last night. I was like, oh, I'm just going to stay up a little bit because, you know, I can get this finished. I didn't have that much to read. It was really short. It was a little less than 200 pages, so I enjoyed doing that. So I hope to start the new one tonight if I don't watch the TV. I don't know what I'm going to do tonight. Tuesday night. Tuesday night's America's Got Talent night, but we usually play catch up on that, so I might catch up on that this weekend. Okay. Oops. Getting some more here. Starting to ooh, get really dark here. I knew when I came out here, I said, oh, it's probably going to get bad out here. I told us, I said, look, it's if it gets bad. I'm just gonna sleep out there. I said, I'll see you in the morning. He just kind of laughed, thought it was funny, but it is getting kind of dark, so you probably will hear the thunder. So I'll hear the thunder if it rains. I just hope we get rain out of it. They said there's hail in it, but I don't want any hail. I just want the good rain. So hopefully we won't get any hail. I don't want this building to go through its first hailstorm while I'm in it. No, thank you. Okay, so we're just gonna fill these in right here. So now I'm filling in the holes with the color. The only problem for me with uh, doing that one color at a time is I'll, I'll miss something somewhere. But that's okay, now let's come back to it. I've got, I had, I'll have a, um, 
I don't have glue. I don't have a glue dot in my pan. I went back to the wax again um, just to change it up. That's the other thing I want to show you is the different types of waxes and things that I have. But right now I'm just using the standard pink wax, the Diamond Art Club pink wax that I got from all the unboxings I did last weekend. So, not that's thunder if you didn't hear it. Nothing like a good thunderstorm in the summertime. I just prefer them at night. Not the bad lightning ones though. Those are the ones that wake you up. But the good thunderstorm with rain, I mean, that's good sleeping weather for me. Just not the bad lightning ones. So, all right, so I'm getting this in. Band camp's been going on. Feel bad for those kids, it's too hot, but been there, done that. It's hot, but drink plenty of fluids, water, Gatorades, all that good stuff. And it helps repair them too, because once you get that uniform on and you're out there in a competition and it's sweltering hot, your body's at least prepared for it. And hopefully you won't pass out. I can't think of ever coming close to passing out, but I know one thing, I mean, uniforms are hot. And especially the older ones, like when I was you know, like in band, there was the um, crazy wool ones. I know you people, older ones, know what I'm talking about. That, oh my mercy, that if you didn't get them things cleaned, it would stink because you sweat so bad in them. And the wind's starting to get up, so might be this short video here. We'll see what happens. I know I'm getting close to my 30 minute mark. Oops. All right, and that's that little section right there filled in. So make sure I got all the peas in that section. P P peas, 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 peas. All right, so I'm gonna move my cover down a little bit and I'm gonna have to move you down also. So I'm just gonna put it right here. Let me see if you're still in the in the view here. So I'm gonna do there. So I'm gonna put you on pause for one second. I'm gonna move you. Okay, I'm back. Got you moved a little bit so you can see some more. Um, looking for my pen. I think I'm gonna have to pull me some more drills out. It's still getting dark here, so. Okay, gotta remove my ruler. Put that there. All right, so let's see here. So the next P, and I'm really gonna start sticking to the canvas now. So I'm trying to make sure I'm not on it. So we're gonna go a little further down here. Still creating mountain scene. That's the uh, gray ones. So let's see here. Try to make sure I don't place my uh, tray on the canvas. And we'll do that right there. Okay. Let's see here what we got for another 30 minute video. Now I'm just going to do is, you know, put these together when I edit it so you'll still have it as a one color video. I think that'd be pretty cool to do. I can't imagine doing like one color across the whole canvas though. I just, I don't know if I can wrap my brain around it. I have a canvas I can possibly do that with. Um, and I may do it with it, I don't know. Thinking about all the things in my head about what I want to do. It's new. Come on. Oh, you must be flipped over already. My bad, I hit y'all, didn't mean to. 
Let's see this right here. Got right there. All right. Oops. Didn't pick that one up. Okay. So let me get me a few more poured out here. And I'll we'll shake them up. Oops. One fell out. Get back in there. So let's see the section I need to get is right here. If anybody saw, I was talking about the books that I was reading. So this is still the uh, paranormal cozy mystery one. So I'll be starting the new book tonight. Kind of excited about it. They're cute little stories, I think. So, you know, like I said, it's, it was less than 200 pages last night. So it wasn't a lot. And I started reading it yesterday. So I got it, it finished it finish with it in a day. I like that. That's some good kind of reading. And there's so much to read. So much I need to play catch up on. I was kind of talking today about the Persuasion movie. And I said, well, that's one of the ones that I hadn't read of Jane Austen. So I don't know if the miniseries or the movie Netflix did is good or bad, but I enjoyed it. So that's all I'm going to say about that until I actually listen to the story, then maybe I can give it some kind of critique, I don't know. I know that a lot of people are, weren't happy with it, but like I said, I haven't read it, so I can't say. Still haven't watched any Stranger Things, so I'm still not caught up on that yet. That looks like all the peas for that section. Do y'all see any more? I don't see any more, so let me see what I got down here. So I'll move this. Out of the way, I don't see any in this section. I know I see some in this section down here at the bottom. So I probably might have to back y'all out though for you to see it because I can't move you any further down and I'd have to move my canvas up. Um, let me see if I can do that first. Maybe I can move the canvas up better. So then you can see it. I'm trying to, it's dark in here because, you know, I got the blinds open, but it's dark outside because of the thunderstorm. I gotta move my water out of the way, so let me do that too. Whoops. And then I'm gonna see if I can move y'all up. I'm trying to get things where I can move it up. The light. Oh, that's right, I got it clipped. That's right, I'll move it up. So then you can see that, that part. And then we'll have to move it back down. Alright, so I'm going to move this part of the cover sheet because I got some right there to get. So there's the P other P's. So I'm going to move you up a little bit. Alright, cool. Alright, so now the P's that I'm getting ready to get into are the on top of the house or the cabin. So I'm going to pour some more in here and shake them up and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my cover paper back down here I'm going to put that right there this is where I'm starting and then put it up here just cover it up my top part a little bit there we go ha ha just move my cover sheets around that way I can put my drills right here so let me get myself in here. Made all my cords and things going on here. I got it on the uh, charger, the power bank, so I'm not running off the batteries on my camera, so I have a good power time source here. Okay, so it's turning back again with the peas. And this is in a straight line, so that's what we're doing here. So we're going way across. And then the, um, there's only two Jane Austen books that I've read. Yes, I know, I should be ashamed. But other than, if you want to get technical, there's only one that I've read. Pride and Precious, I read. Um, but I've also listened to it on audiobook. And Emma, I listened to on audiobook. So I'll be looking to, uh, get persuasion I'm pretty sure I have it but to uh, listen to it on a audible 
and see what the difference or what people didn't really like about it. I don't know. Okay, hopefully you don't hear me sticking so much to the cover, plastic cover here. Yep. But I do like the little idea that I had with my washi tape because I wasn't sure how that was going to work. Plus, um, it wants to curl up a little bit, but that's okay. It's still staying on the cover sheet. It ain't going anywhere. Alright, I'm going to get down here to this part down here. So I'm just going to tip mine and kind of hold it on the uh, other round drills as opposed to actually on the canvas while I'll be sticking to it. So I'll do this right here. Whew. Come on. I feel like I might have to put my pen, some more wax in my pen. Still trying to do better. I still I'm just holding my pen right now in the way I'm not supposed to be holding it, but I'm trying not to be as tight with it, so hopefully it won't be as bad. Kinda like this little idea of doing it one one little color in this whole section. This right here, the whole section that I have peeled off. Well, these you know three cover sheets I mean this is what I'd call this is what uh right here so about right here I don't even know if you can see that I think you can see my hand nope I'm right above it so my thumb's right here so the one you can't see above it and up to the top is one square and then this right here and down is the second square so this would be square let's see one two three four five and six so five and six, I'm doing all at one time um, with one color at a time. So like that's, you know, for me, that's, that's the top half. And then I have the two squares at the bottom, which is the bottom half, but we're working all on the top half. So I'm going all the way across with the top half. And then when I'm ready, um, when I'm done with all the way across that, I'll do the bottom half, but then this part will be rolled up, so. It won't be in my way. So that's always good. And you know, this to me is a, this one's been a quick picture. I mean, I worked some on it. I've, I've done videos with y'all on it, so. But it just seems to be, rounds are always quicker, but I think the picture in general is just quicker. And a lot of people talked about how and I can see it. I mean, it's not like I can't how confetti heavy a Chuck Pinson picture is. But if you pull it off like this big area and you do that one color, I mean, you're going to get some done. I'll eventually get to where a color is just in a certain area, but it's like this mountain. And that's the color I start with, gray. And it's hard you know, not to do it all in one big big area so just placing these down here i think i'm gonna have to put some wax in my pen it's like i'm gonna go as far as i can far as i can for oh lord i can't believe you said that i'm southern i can't help myself um as far as i can without having to uh, get that wax in that pen. Lord, I can't, I'm gonna have to edit that out. I'm gonna edit that out. No, I'm just kidding, I wanna edit that out. Be like, yeah, I have to have subtitles for y'all, sorry. Be like, oh, I didn't understand what she just said. Redneck. Oh, mercy, that's okay. Slur your words, that's just what you do. I mean, I can pour the Southern on, but we ain't gonna do that enough I had my boss mother boss so um, she'd always say like what'd you just say like this is what I said I'm like how do you not understand me I was 
like you lived in this state for a while. Come on now. She's like, sometimes I just, uh, no. Just say different things differently. It's like, oh, you have to enunciate. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. Oh, now we ain't going there. Oh, mercy. Went out there for real. So, but back to what I was saying. Oh, I'm rambling over here. Susan Rambles is what I need to call this freaking channel. That's what I tell my husband. That's like, I don't think I have anything to talk about for 30 minutes. That's what I tell my friends. I don't have nothing to talk about. Hey, look, y'all. I got all the peas done. Wow. Well, and just like that, one color got done. So I'm going to move the little cover sheets and I'm going to back you out. I might shine some light on you since it's dark. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not, but let me back you out. Changing your point of view. That's really close, but that's not where you are. So that's it. So I'm going to turn the light off. Oops, sorry, they got really bright. There it goes, yeah. I don't know, the light might help you a little bit. There it goes, that's the one that's really bright. So this is the tree part right here, and this is part of the tree. And then up in here, which you can't see, is the mountain part. So, just like that, I got that color done, the peak color. And um, about, I don't know, 45 minutes, two videos. So I'm going to stop you here, and then the next video, which I'm going to shoot next, but I don't know when you're going to see it next, will be the second color. So I think the second color that I'm going to do is this color right here. So I'll probably start with it right here, and then move, move myself back up the canvas. So I'm going to cover my squares back up with my washi tape cover paper. Let's see, where did I pull it down here? Right here. Yeah. I'm going to move back over. Let's sit right there. Okay. And there's my carousel horses. Alright, so. I will chat with you later. A few minutes here for me. Probably a day for you. But don't forget to give me thumbs up, thumbs down, whichever, you know, I told you, whatever you wanted to do. Comment, got any questions, or just want to comment the crazy way we're doing this, that's fine too. And then don't forget to subscribe. I have seven subscribers now. I'm very tickled about what's going on with the channel here. And then also um, hit that notification bell, and then you'll be notified when this next random video comes up for you. All right, y'all. I'll talk with you later. Bye.